What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here. Welcome back. Sadly, he's just a younger version of you. Please oh. don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> hey, Arthur. Oh, it's true. It's true. Finally, time to continue on again. All right, John. What do you got for me? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Well, know exactly where to go for that. Wagons can be stolen for John are blipped. Let's see, which one is the closest? Cornwall oil wet. Got one right here. I don't even need to make a radar to that. I can shoot right over. Still, let's go, sweetie. We're gonna go get ourselves a wagon. What was that? What was that? So up now. Happen. Good one, girl. I think I think I think that was a rattlesnake or something. I think something bit her. Oh, snake biting my Stella. Stella, come on. I know you can get over this. Yep. There we go. Yeah. kill him, but at the same yeah. time, I got bigger things to take care of right now than a bunch of O'Driscoll shitholes. I suppose I could just pull out the repeater and shoot them all yeah. down from up here. But, nah. I'll let them live. For today, I'll let him live.
Test something I heard about earlier. See if this actually works. Set that. You do this, and then you double tap X a couple times to get things going. And it should completely. Well, it is driving itself. Not exactly a. Uh, uh, as accurate as I would hope, but uh, it's it's working, it's working. This is pretty nice. Just riding on out there. I'm kicking my feet up right now. Just enjoying the scenery. So for those curious exactly what I just did. Um, I put it into cinematic. Well, I set, set a map destination, put it in cinematic, and then basically hit X enough to set pace. So if I'd only hit X once, I think I'd be going at like a slow, slow pace. But since I tapped it a couple times, you know, he keeps whipping the rain. So that's pretty cool. What about this on uh, Eric's Twitter, actually? I was like, I got to try this, because I've been trying to figure out... You know, I figured there had to be something like that. You know, Assassin's Creed has a, a horse auto run system. If this game didn't have it, and, and considering how big horses are in this game... I feel like that'd be a pretty fucking big oversight from uh, Rockstar. So, yeah, it exists, just uh, kind of uh, those hiding in plain sight type things. Some of these I don't get. Deliver the wagon to the drop-off within a minute 45. How the hell am I supposed to get the wagon here in a minute 45? But when we're up to... We're at nine minutes right now. Stella? Damn horse. Stella? Today. Well, <laughs> you're gonna get some nonsense. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yeah, next time you won't walk away. Oh, since you want to talk shit, I'll rob you while we're here. So while you're here, now where did it? Do nothing. I know you didn't. Well, you did point a gun at me. You'll be all right. Where did his damn horse go? I wanted his horse. 
out of you. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! I got a wife and What happens here? Do they run him over? Shut up and keep still! I never robbed a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a headache! Breed that guy. And all I wanted was a horse. John, you'd figure the least he could do would be come out here with me. Every time. Stella! Hello. How far is my horse? Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought she was going to be keeping up with me. Yeah, we don't got a choice here. Somebody's going to die. Oh. I just, I need to, damn it. I figured I'd hog tie that guy and take his horse to get to my horse, but his horse ended up running off. Thank you, Bill. Well, here we go. Camp. And a camp means a horse. Not again. Uh, fellers at these camps usually aren't too kind. So, let's, uh... Easy. No need to pull iron on me. Ain't no big deal to a tough guy like you. I told you, get lost. <laughs> Fucked up, friend. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 girl, girl. I'm not losing this horse. No, no, sir. And people just ride bareback horses in this game like it's easy. easy there. Riding a horse bareback is not easy at all. And I always get the bad guy points, but... I mean... I'm not just going to leave the body there. You know, if the guy's yep. dead, I might as well at least, you know, get something out of it. Stella? Stella. That horse don't listen. And she is out there. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah, is it you okay? Fallen horsey? Man. You're, you're good still. You're good. Come on. You're okay. Yep. So this is why I have an elite horse now. There we go. Easy. All right. Now, can't you like slap the horse on the butt and get it to run off or something? I guess that's the only thing you can do with your horse. Alright, well, made it back to Stella. I guess let's go back to Marston. He sure ain't making things easy. Figure he'd meet me out here ready to go on the job. Nope. No Marston. Yeah, you're alright, girl. Gotta get out of here together, sweetie. Driscoll. And that's bounty hunters. We gotta go. Let's get you back to camp. I'm gonna give you a carrot. You know where, where we got. No, let's see. Where we got carrots right now. Carrot. Hey. Carrot. Hey, you want a carrot? Yeah? Yes, happy horse. There we go. Okay. I wanted to kill the Driscoll boys, but I'm not fighting a bunch of Driscolls and a bunch of bounty hunters at the same time. Even for me, that's too many bodies to take on. Shit! Oh my god! Damn! Fucking wh whooping my ass! Stella! Come on, girl! Wait, we're going. Dead before I make it back to camp. Sorry. You know that I love you, right? Good girl. But you need to did not drop me like that. I, that's not good. Brushing. Like that brush? Yeah, you like the brush? Of course. All right, Marston. Actually, you know what? It's night. They're all drunk. I think we just sleep. Over some pools and whiskey. Like the waves of the bay. Uh, I wanna name 
everybody. Good morning. All right, Dutch. Hello, Sean. My dear, wait some stuff to the camp. Marston, would have been nice if you were out there, John. Let's get on. Good, and you got everything we need. Good, I think we need another man, Charles. I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> Yay. Abigail. Wait, do we have to go talk to Abigail because it was her idea? This train is going to be a big break, money-wise. Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I don't, I don't want to do this right now. Come on. Why am I taking care of the boy? Ain't that, ain't Abigail, uh, John's wife? Ugh, all right. Well, let's go spend some time with kid, I guess. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yep. I really All like right. the voice actor they got for this kid. Good spot as any. 
But it's good that I'm finally learning fishing. Like, I knew the game had fishing. I just wasn't sure how to get it. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. Had it all along. And first, we need some bait. <sighs> cheese bait. Let's see, cheese bait, no bait, bread bait, corn bait. Well, I know corn is good for catfish and other bottom feeders. Right back, some bluegill. Let's use some bread bait. Are you okay there, Uncle Arthur? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. There we go. I see. I see. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Little bluegill. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. What are you trying I'm to make, kid? Some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I don't know how I feel about. Kid wandering off on his own. Guess the game wants me to fish. All right, let's see what's biting there. You got a stick of things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <sighs> I know. Boring as hell. Well, it's called Dad, fishing and not catching. Something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. I think you've got a bite. Look. Whoop, think I got one. Pull him in. What do 
What are you making there? You'll see. Another baby. It's a surprise. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. Ooh. Five thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> That's not good. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. That's not good at all. Girl. Idiot. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Thank good. I mean, Arthur wouldn't betray Dutch. Arthur's been around for Dutch for years. This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. 
We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Well, it's easy to say. Harder to do. these time rewards anyway wrapping up this one a bit of a longer episode hopefully we can do the train in the next part but stay tuned and we'll see you all then